Okay, this is another senseless contraption I rigged up here. I had a bunch of wire stolen on my farm. They ripped my buildings apart even to get in the walls. So I've got a 400 foot cable of eight gauge wire I need to run from my cabin to my well. And uh, I just happen to have 400 foot of three quarter inch water line. Uh, it's not really up to code for uh, conduit, but the, the wire I have is direct barrel, is left over from building the house. I rigged this up. It's basically a T with a valve hooked to a hose. There's a uh, piece that slips in with a little pinhole to put. This is my fish wire, slides through there. And I didn't glue it so that I can pop it off. Uh, when you turn this on, the water goes down both ways. I've got a 12 millimeter socket on the end of my wire. It fits in there pretty snug, but enough that it moves pretty well. It actually is the same size as a uh, three quarter inch pipe. So when I go to bury this and I have a junction box, I'm gonna swap it over to actual rigid conduit when I come up ground. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold this up because I didn't have a hammer to drive my spool down. But when I start this, It starts pulling the conduit along. Forgot to tape it. I'm using duct tape so I can get it on and off again. Since I got like three sections of these to do. This one's looped around, it's about 120 feet. water coming out that's getting past the socket. I need to come up with a better uh, spinner thing. Too much friction in it. Getting a little wet, but not, not anything I can't deal with. There it is. Right out of there. If I wasn't trying to do a video to show how the pieces went, I would have had that duct taped a lot better. But uh, that was actually about 120 feet. A bigger size socket will work better too. It won't let as much water pass and, and uh, put more pressure on the socket to pull.